audio jungle. to another Doctor 2 Health Mastery Series where we aim to infuse, inform and educate you along your journey towards becoming master of your own health. Remember, nothing said here is a substitute for speaking to your physician, your GP, your doctor about your particular circumstance. What I want to talk to you about today is a very common condition called hiccups with that characteristic <laughs> sound. But what causes hiccups? Hiccups occur when you get a sudden contraction of the muscles that help us to take in breath into our lungs, so your inspiratory muscles, that causes a rush of air into the lungs and a sudden snap, closing sound of the back of our throat at the top of the airway called the glottis. So that closes suddenly and that gives it that characteristic <laughs> sound. Now, hiccups can be quite annoying. I'm sure most of us have experienced it at um, some time in our life. And we divide it into acute chronic and intractable sort of long-standing hiccups. Most of us have probably had an acute hiccups. This is when it lasts for several hours and up to two days. Okay. Now, when the hiccups go on for more than two days, uh, up to a month, we call that chronic hiccups. There are some people who have persistent hiccups that can last for months and months and even years. And I've had patients with that. And it's the most annoying symptom. Annoying for the patient? as well as for the doctor sometimes, because it can be quite tricky and challenging uh, to manage when it's intractable. How common is hiccups? It is a very, very common condition, especially the acute hiccup that lasts um, perhaps several minutes to several hours. It affects people across all ages equally, but men are four times as affected compared to women. Now, in, in people with advanced cancer, 9% of them are found to have hiccups and about 20% of patients with Parkinson's disease also have hiccups. What has also been found is that um, relative to people without hiccups, 10% of those with hiccups tend to have acid reflux, that's a regurgitation of acid from your stomach up your gullet, um, compared to 3% of people uh, without hiccups. Let's talk about the causes or risk factors of hiccups. It is helpful to separate these into those that cause uh, the more acute benign types of hiccups and those that cause the more chronic intractable long-standing hiccups. Now with acute hiccups uh, this is often because of uh, excess air into our stomach or having excess amounts of food, excess amounts of drinks, especially carbonated drinks. Uh, what also um, contributes is irritants of the stomach so for example having spicy food or alcohol, um, which irritates uh, the stomach. We also tend to notice hiccups when there is a sudden change in temperature, sudden change in our state of, of excitement, or if we become suddenly quite anxious, uh, these can cause hiccups as well. With regards to the more chronic intractable hiccups, uh, this is often due to an underlying medical condition that really needs to be looked into and diagnosed. And without treating that underlying condition, the hiccups just continues. The underlying pathologies that can lead to hiccups are many. And, and, and if you have you know, persisting hiccups, your doctor, your GP, uh, will go through questions with you to try and unearth whether you may have one of these underlying con conditions. So uh, anything that irritates the diaphragm, for example, can lead to hiccups. Remember your diaphragm is that, that muscle that separates your chest, your thorax from your intestine. Uh, and helps with your respiration, your breathing in and out. So if you have an enlarged liver, which sits on the right side of the diaphragm, that can irritate the diaphragm and cause hiccups. Likewise, on the left, if you have an enlarged spleen, that can cause irritation of the diaphragm. Sometimes you can actually have infection around the liver that will cause sophrenic abscesses, and that can irritate the diaphragm and cause uh, hiccups also. Now, there are certain abnormalities that can be found in the blood uh, that can lead to intractable chronic hiccups. For example, an abnormal calcium level, you know, low potassium, low sodium level, or, 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 or high level of something called uh, uremia, which you tend to find in kidney failure. A uh, high level of uric acid, this is uh, um, increased in people who have gout, for example. So diabetes that can cause hiccups if it's poorly controlled, not in everyone, but in some people. And again, with all of these things, not everyone who has these abnormalities will develop hiccups, but we tend to find them in people who have hiccups. Um, now, 
Remember I mentioned that there's a sudden contraction of your muscles of inspiration. So you need nerves which then cause your muscles to contract. Anything that affects uh, that, uh, any of the nerves that um, coordinates your respiratory movement and muscle contraction uh, can lead to hiccups. So if you have a brain pathology, so a stroke, um, a tumour in the brain for example, or brain infection, that can lead to hiccups. There's a very important nerve called the vagus nerve that runs all the way from your brain down your, um, in the back of your, your throat through your chest region and into your stomach and intestine. That's really important for a lot of functions of the body. If that nerve is affected anywhere along its course, uh, its course it can cause uh, hiccups as well. So there are many, many underlying causes which and your GP or doctor will go through various questions with you to see whether or not you need further tests uh, to look for any of these causes. Now, the diagnosis of hiccups is very straightforward. You know what hiccups is. And when you present to your GP, it would be obvious to them because you've been making that characteristic <coughs> sound. Um, now, for people who have you know, short-lasting benign uh, hiccups, really no further tests or investigations need to, be need to be done. And often when you present for the first time, uh, perhaps you've had a hiccup that's going on for a few hours, your GP may well advise that we monitor the situation because it may well not carry on for more than a day or two, as annoying as it may be. Now, if you have a more chronic, persistent hiccups that's going on for longer than two days, then further tests may be warranted. Um, you may, your GP may well examine you to see whether you have any of the medical conditions that I've mentioned above. And they may go on to do blood tests, perhaps a chest x-ray, um, perhaps additional tests, depending on uh, what, what's found on the examination and what the initial test uh, returns. Well done for getting to the end of this video. Um, you amongst 1% of people that actually put the effort and time into looking after their health, making sure you become a master of your health is really, really important because you can have a different level of conversation with your clinician. Um, your health is your wealth. Your health is important, not just for you, but for your loved ones around you. So, you know, look after yourself. If you, there was anything that stood out for you today, uh, make a comment. If you liked this video, Give it a like, don't be shy, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends and family. And if you really, really like this video, go to our website and check it out at www.drtoyou.co.uk. So that's doctor2u.co.uk. You know, have a browse, look at our products. You can have, you can request blood tests without needing to see a clinician, but a doctor always looks at the results before it gets back out to you. If there's anything you have concerns about, we can talk to you on, on the earth. And one thing we're really, really good at here is making sure that you live with a clear understanding of what's going on and why uh, you might be having the symptoms you're having, why you're taking the medications that you're taking. So you're full in control uh, of your health. Until next time, look after yourself. I wish you good health, longevity and success in your journey towards becoming a master of your health.